What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Tech Preacher. So on my channel, you see a lot of what we call B-roll. You see a lot of footage as I give commentary about the products that I present on this channel. I made a video about my first slider that I had, but here in the studio, I have the new GVM 2D slider. And you know what? This one here is much better than my previous GVM slider. Let me explain. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I absolutely love sliders, right? It brings a different element to my YouTube channel. So let's talk about the GVM 2D slider that I, I have in house. And I absolutely love this slider. So let's talk about what, you, what comes in a box with this slider. First, the slider comes with a carrying case that's ready to go at all times. So when you open up the case, you greet it to the slide itself with some books and stuff, right? Uh, you also greet it to a wireless controller and the wireless controller charger, uh, a motorized camera head, and it also comes with two batteries, which is a good look. Uh, it comes with a, a battery charger, a shutter cable, a signal cable, right? And all these other cables that you can sync up with your DSLR or mirrorless camera. So you get everything you need in this package. Now, one thing that I do have to mention is that to get the full functionality out of this slider, uh, you have to get adjustable camera head, which I have here. Uh, and the price of this slider will set you back $600. I will leave all product links down in the description below. As a filmmaker, time is essential, right? You want to get the best footage and this slider delivers, right? And not only that, but this slider, getting it from out of the package, getting it ready to go takes minutes. Uh, the configuration takes minutes. Look, let's talk about the build quality. With all GVM product, you get a very premium material here, right? Carbon fiber metal rails. Uh, it's all metal sides here and it's good to go, right? Uh, you have your feet at the bottom that's adjustable and it's all top notch here, right? So uh, this slider here is 31 inches, which is a nice length. Uh, and uh, right here on the side, you have a, all the brains is right here, right? As far as mounting this slider, there's a bunch of configurations. You can do tripods on the side. You can do tripods in the, in the front. It's a bunch of configurations here that you can mount with this slider. So I think some people believe that sliders is only used from going left to right. That is correct, but you have to be creative. Throughout this entire video, I've been using this slider with different scenarios and different B-rolls and stuff like that on how I use this slider, right? But not only that this slider is capable of using professional cameras, but you can use a smartphone, believe it or not. Some of the B-rolls that I've been showing you here is a mixture of a professional camera and my Google Pixel 6. So that's what you've been seeing in this video. But you know what? Let me show you some more outdoor clips using this slider in the Google Pixel 6. So check this out. All right, guys, so I'm out here at the park and I'm using the GVM slider with a smartphone using a Pixel 6 going side to side doing some cinematic footage here. Now I'm shooting with the Pixel 6 4K 60 frames per second and I'm gonna slow it down in post so we can get that nice little slow-mo. One of the unique things that I like about this GVM slider is that the remote control and the setup time. The setup time has been absolutely great. It took me a few minutes to set this up right and it took me a few minutes to set up my keep uh my cue points from point a to point b and i got it in auto so it's going side to side by itself and it's so simple to do it Okay, so let's talk about the remote. And this is the most important part of this whole setup here is the remote, what I call ease of use. Now you can download the, uh, the GVM app to iOS or Android, and you can do the same thing here that I'm about to show you on the, on the remote. Uh, so this right, right here, once you turn it on, it usually pairs up. When I took this out of the box, it paired up really fast. If not, then you go to your settings and you go to your Bluetooth settings and uh, it will 
you just have to find GVM and it's gonna pair up. Uh, so let's do something quick here. You got your video shot, time lapse, panorama shot, and stuff like that. One of the things that I like about this is time saving, right? So once you got this all connected, once you got the tripod up and running, and you're ready to do your shot, first thing you do is hit OK on uh, your uh, you hit OK on your video shot. You got either manual or you could do it in auto. When you do it in manual. Uh, you just click on it and you can go side to side right here and you could do it manual. Now you have your speed right now, I have it at 100%, right? You can go side by side here. But one of the things that I like about this is that if you want to do some panning and stuff like that, that's what the motorized head is for. So we're going to get out of here and we're going to go to auto. This is the best part that I like, right? So one thing you got to do is set your key. Now uh, go to your pinpoint right here, uh, set up A. So we want to set up A, right here, put it right there, right? But uh, since I have the panning head on there, I can turn it, see that? So I want to turn it there. And so once I'm finished with point A, I just hit OK, and it's going to ask you to save it, and you hit yes. At this point, just go back to a pinpoint and hit OK again, and now you have to do B. Now you have A, B, C, you could do all kinds of points here. Now, since I'm on B, what I want to do is move the slider to where I want it to go and right there. So if, you, if you're doing B-roll on a product, and as you can see, boom. All right, so at this point, see you can see that. At this point, uh, once I'm done with B, I just hit OK, all right? And it goes save and hit uh, yes. Okay, and then get out of there. So I got point A, point B. Now I could go point C, point D, whatever. You could do that if you like. All right, so we're gonna exit out and we're gonna go to auto loop. Now you could do auto stop, but I love auto loop. So hit okay, and you got to do your start point, which is start point A. Now you have to do your end point, which is start uh, end point B. So I had to click on here, go to B right there, hit okay, exit, and now I'm ready to go. So I got uh, uh, start A and I have end B and I have the loop count. So I got it on four, but you can have as many loop counts as you want. And next you hit execution. And, that, and that's it, that's it. So what I just did was I got a complete pan and it's moving. So if I'm doing a product shot or B-roll, the camera is going to move by itself and it's going to stay on the product as I'm panning, right? And that's good. This is what I like. Now you can do it all kinds of different configurations as I've been showing you in this video, but this is how time saving that I want to talk to you guys about with this uh, slider. I mean, this here is a game changer to me. Uh, my table's a little offset, uh, but this is a game changer to me because I like this. I like the, the way it runs. Now, let's talk about noise. Uh, one of probably the kind with this, and as you can hear, the noise. Now, if you were doing interview style or, or, or something like that, this noise will come in your shot. Uh, as you guys can hear, it does have a slight noise. So that's something you definitely got to keep in count. So when you open up the mobile app, and this is what I was talking about earlier in the video, is that it looks like you can't use both. You got to either use the joystick or you have to use the mobile app. Now, if I turn this off, uh, now the control module is will be looking for another Bluetooth source. So let's give it a second and let's see if it's gonna pop up here on the on my phone. So here it is. Once I turn off the, the remote, now it's saying the GVM and I can connect here, right? So using the phone, you could pretty much do the same thing here. Uh, everything that I did on the controller, you could do it on the phone. What I like again with the control module, you could swap the batteries as you running the slider. So let's give give you an example of that. It's kind of okay. You see that while it's moving, all right, and it's hot swappable, right? So I can change my batteries at will. That's what I like about that. So once again, I will leave all product links down in the description below if you want to pick this up. I think this is a great tool if you want to level up uh, your filmmaking. And I think tools like this helps bring your YouTube channel or your filming career to the next level. I like these sliders and it works very well. This is like the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. I will leave all product links down in the description below if you want to pick up the GVM 2D slider in all its glory. See you guys on the next video.
Peace.